Well, as we mentioned, Farmers Branch is here, but we are on the road this morning in Roanoke as well, and a huge crowd is gathered to welcome our Paige McCoy Smith to town. So, Paige, what's happening there? Well, thanks, Carrie, and welcome to Roanoke as we say a big good morning, Texas, to you. This is the most amazing community, and they have come out in spades. As you can see, it's the perfect place to dine, shop, and play. Food is the operative word here in this town of 8,100 people with over 40 restaurants, all of them pretty unique in the way that they have their food styled. It's the destination to come and shop and to eat. In fact, it's even considered the unique dining capital of Texas. As you can see, it's also a town that has a lot of spirit and some great Great support as I'm here with the Roanoke Bobcat cheerleading squad, the folks from Hawaiian Falls, and lots and lots of townspeople. We're going to be having quite the party out here, and I'm so excited to introduce you to Roanoke. So stay tuned for now. I'll send it back inside to you in the studio. Oh, Wave, we're looking everybody. forward to it. All right, Paige, thanks so much. Well, our first North Texas Hyundai dealer. Welcome back, everyone. You know, throughout the month of May, we have sent our patient Coy Smith on the road to find out what makes your town so special. And today we find her in Roanoke, the unique dining capital of Texas. Who knew? Hi, Paige. <laughs> well, thanks, Carrie. As you said, this is indeed the unique dining capital of Texas. There's so many yummy restaurants here, and it all started with this one, Babes. Babes was the one that began the driving force behind the opening of lots of different fun places to eat. Ooh, thank you so much. So stand by, take a look, and you'll see why Roanoke is the true flavor of Texas. Well, just west of Dallas is this wonderful community of Roanoke, and they're known for many things, but primarily for their flavors. So I say, come and get it, because I'm introducing you to the unique dining capital of Texas, where I'm gonna be doing a little dining and dash. Well, Roanoke became the unique dining capital of Texas, largely because of one man, one concept. I'm about to introduce you to both. This is Babes. But when it comes to fried chicken, nobody beats Babes. It's the best. And this restaurant here in Roanoke was the original Babes restaurant. And I'm joined by Paul Vineyard. I've got to ask you, Paul, why on earth Roanoke? Well, truthfully, we wanted a place that was out in the country, which in those days it was. Well, I understand that there might be a little hokey pokey going on around here. We have a lot of hokey pokey going on around here. After some fried chicken. things about Roanoke is that there's literally rows and rows of really unique one-of-a-kind restaurants that you wouldn't find anywhere else. Hey, 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 this is Daniela and Massimo. These are Italian guys with Enzo here in Roanoke. Would you stop arguing because I'm a little bit hungry? No, no, we're not arguing. We're just talking this way. It's not an argument. It's just that's the way we talk in Italy. That's how they talk in Italy. All right, well, let's check out some of the food that you have here. This is a, a, a prosciutto e rugola pizza made with uh, homemade mozzarella. No, that's the way you eat pizza. Mm. What on earth is a nice Italian guy like you doing in Roanoke, Texas? Um, uh, probably living the dream. Italy was getting a little bit too small for us, so we had to get out of there. So you, <laughs> Italy was too small, so here he is in Roanoke. Mm. Yeah. I've got some more dining and dashing to do. i got to run. Not a problem. First, there we go. <laughs> well, from Italian food, to Mexican food. I'm at tacos and avocados, and oh my goodness, what is that? Well, that is pure deliciousness. Ooh, it looks good. I'm joined here by Jason with tacos and avocados. All right, but of all places, why Roanoke? Such a sense of community here, and it's really kind of the antithesis of those big, fancy buildings they're doing uh, and, and nice communities. It's kind of old school. Old school. This is new school. I'm going to take a bite of this. It is delicious. Fried chicken, pizza, and tacos. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It's time for dessert. Well, I am in heaven, otherwise known as Hay Sugar. This could quite possibly be the most charming store I've ever been in. And I'm joined by Kristen, who's the owner of Hay Sugar. Everything from popcorn to sodas. Tell us what we can find in here. Well, we opened on December 1st, and we sell over 300 varieties of vintage sodas, 25 different varieties of popcorn. We have a chocolate here in-house, and 25 varieties of ice cream. All right, and look at me. I'm a soda jerk, so I'm going to make a little something, and you're going to give me a tutorial. I am. We're going to start with a cup of ice cream, add a cup of milk to our ice cream, and just put it in. All right, so I just put it in here. Yep, and push it up, spin it around once it gets on there. Spin, oh, no. Oh. The way we do it here at Hay Sugar. It's not very pretty, but I bet it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't be working here anytime soon. <laughs> well, my dining and dashing in Roanoke has come to an end, but my tummy is full and my heart is happy. You need to check out the most unique dining capital of Texas. Stand back. <laughs> Well, the main requirement for coming to Roanoke, Texas, is to basically make sure you have an empty stomach. Because as you saw in that piece, with all the different dining experiences that are available here, it is your true destination to come and sample all kinds of truly authentic Texas cuisine. And, of course, with a little bit of Babe's Chicken. Good news is, is that we've got more Roanoke to share with you a little bit later on in the show. So stay tuned. For now, we'll be right back. On the road with GMT, brought to you by your North Texas Hyundai dealer and the Hyundai Veloster. Coy Smith has been on the road celebrating great Texas towns, and we're going to check back in with her in Roanoke, Texas, today otherwise known as the unique dining capital of Texas. Hey, Paige. Hey. Everybody, we're back here in Roanoke, Texas, and as you saw earlier in the show, Roanoke is all about the food, the unique dining capital of Texas. And I'm joined here by Jack Lehman with Jack and Grill, looking very lovely. What am I sampling right here? We are trying our dirty balls. Ooh, dirty balls! They look absolutely luscious. They mm. are. All right, um, over here to my right, I've got David. I've got David Blair with hard, hard eight barbecue. This looks good too. Prime ribeye steak, mesquite smoked. Prime ribeye steak, mesquite smoke. These are just two of the examples of the restaurants that are here in Roanoke. But you know what? I don't think it's very polite for me to eat with my mouth full. So I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Scooter over here. Here is the mayor of Roanoke. And I'd love for you to tell, what are some of the other highlights that make Roanoke so special? Well, we have from Eats to Sweets, from Hard Eight to Hawaiian Falls, here we are with all of our great restaurants that are here debut today. Over here we have Susie Sweet Boutique. She has the best cupcakes in the world. We have Kristen here. She I know Kristen. Hey Sugar. She tried to teach me how to make a milkshake. Yes, and of course, the original Babes. We have mm -hmm. Jessica here from Babes. And, and you also have a lot of spirit. As you can see in these wonderful yeah. Roanoke Bobcat cheerleaders behind us, Roanoke there is Bobcat. so much spirit here in the town of Roanoke. And you sense that flavor when you get here. So it's not just the fantastic restaurants, although that's a big part about what Roanoke is all about. It's also these wonderful people that make the town so special. Yes, ma'am. We have plenty of history here that we've been able to keep up and uh, now we have the unique dining capital of Texas and we always welcome people to come into Roanoke, spend their money, shop, dine and eat here. It is an awesome place to be and we invite everyone to come out and check out what we have done in Roanoke. It is beautiful here. Well and as you probably saw in the package piece, there's a there's kind of a strip of restaurants side by side from each other. So you can kind of walk from one to another, get a sample of Italian food, walk a couple of spaces, get, get some Mexican food. It's all right here in this one destination. You also have lots of events and activities that happen throughout the year. Tell me about some that are coming up soon. Well, we have lots of events coming up. Celebrate Roanoke is coming up in October, and we have our July 3rd event, and those are great events, and our council has been so good to bless us with uh, all of this, helping to put this together, and it has been phenomenal what we've been able to create with this. And so these events are happening, and on Thursday nights we have live music every Thursday night here at the Austin Street Plaza. Each of our restaurants actually have live entertainment on the weekends as well, so it's a great place to come and bring your family and enjoy the time here. And ladies, also, it's a wonderful place to shop. It's dining and shopping. I can't think, honestly, of a better combination. you got to come and check out Roanoke and just have an opportunity to meet some of these kind folks and sample some of their delicious food. So we're, we're going to actually say good morning, Texas, with the band kind of gearing up a little louder for us. Let's play. Everybody wave, and we'll send it back inside to you in the studio. Good morning, Texas, from Roanoke. All right. Thanks so much, Paige. And up next here, there's a